Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Let's Defend Blue Teamer uh, interview series. Uh, my name is Bohan and uh, today I'm going to share a few of my experience uh, working as a SOC analyst and, uh, uh, and a big thanks to the Let's Defend for putting up this uh, interview series and having me to be part of this interview. So I'm going to start to answer the questions they have for me here. Um, so the first question is, can you introduce yourself? So my name is Bohan, uh, and uh, I work as a stock analyst one at uh, Eastern Tire. Uh, and uh, I have been into my current role for eight months already. And uh, my day-to-day -day job involves in monitor the security alerts uh, and the events across our clients and uh, providing uh, support uh, if our clients have any requests for us. I think a uh, SOC analyst uh, can, doing, can, can, can mean a lot of different things in different organizations. Uh, in my company, um, my, my company is a security provider, so client outsourcing their security uh, service to us. So, so, so working as a security provider, SOC analyst, basically my day-to-day -day job is to um, monitor all the security alerts triggered from all of our clients and uh, making proper escalation sometimes, and also to helping client to investigate uh, if there's uh, security alerts uh, that requires more investigation. So my, my daily routine, uh, basically I work in a shift-based environment. So I have to, so, so everything I, I do at each shift uh, are scheduled for me every day. So I know exactly what I should do. So, um, but basically I, just like I said before, I. Uh, monitor security alerts, events, and uh, making proper escalation and uh, doing investigation on the security alerts if there's a need. Um, some challenges uh, working as a SOC analyst, um, I think other people don't realize that uh, um, sometimes when, 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 you, when you're just starting your career, uh, as a SOC analyst, I think the biggest challenge is um, if you don't have any customer service uh, experience before, that could be a big challenge. Um, so, um, so I think to me, I think the biggest challenge is to uh, finding ways to effectively communicate with the client. So I think uh, that's one of the biggest challenge I was facing uh, when I was joining. Um, my current company and work as stock analyst. I think my favorite part to work at my current company is that I can, I got a chance to see all the latest attacks um, uh, across, uh, happening across our clients. So it really expanded my knowledge on security in general and uh, keeping me up to date to the latest trend in the industry. Um, as well, I got a chance to uh, learn, learn all this, um, uh, I got a chance to learn, uh, to learning from all of the very smart people and my colleagues. And, uh, and another reason I love to being a stock analyst is that, especially my current role is that um, I work in a very fast paced environment. So uh, there is always something for you to do uh, that you're never getting boring. So uh, that that's a that's a part I love uh, to be a SOC. And I think that can be comes down to the technical skills and the soft skills. So when it comes to the technical skills, I think um, you should have basic understanding on the network. Um, so like basic network protocols and. Uh, uh, how they can uh, represent different things in the network traffic and uh, know how to uh, analyze PCAP traffic and use Wireshark. 
um, as well to understanding, have a basic understanding on the operating system um, and uh, uh, one bonus thing is that you can, you should have um, some understanding on the cloud because these days many business relies on the cloud. So if you have some basic understanding on the cloud, that would be a huge bonus. Um, and uh, when it comes down to the soft skill, I think uh, this part is, uh, in my opinion, is, in, is more important compared to the technical skills. So um, especially communication skills, um, you should be able to effectively communicate with uh, your clients uh, about the, uh, your funding and about uh, either through the email or through the phone, you should be able to effectively communicate with them. Also, I think another important thing when it comes down to soft skill is your people skill. You should um, just learn how to get along with people, get along with your colleagues, you know, so that's a, that's a general soft skill you should have. Um, Next question is, what do you recommend for who wants to become SOC analyst? I think the different, um, different, like, uh, different people can have different experience or paths. So, um, I think uh, each person can have their own path. So there's no uh, defined way to become a SOC analyst, but, uh, um, but my, only recommendation for people who wants to become a SOC analyst is to making your own plan, um, to come up with your own plan and uh, setting the goals for yourself. Uh, if you want to be a SOC analyst, you should have certain goals you should reach and uh, making a timeline for yourself. Uh, certain things you should learn and uh, um, and uh, certain milestone you should hit. Uh, at a certain point in, in, in the timeline. So that way um, you, you, you have a clear plan for yourself that can make your uh, make your uh, journey to become a stock analyst much faster. Um, I think blue team is cool um, because the, the most satisfied, uh, satisfied, uh, satisfied part uh, the thing makes me most satisfied in my job is to see um, we I I um to to say that um, we actually stopped the attack um, uh, happened happened in our clients' environment and uh, it's kind of like you saved your clients from a cyber attack. Uh, that's a true satisfaction you can never experience uh, unless you work. Uh, in a blue team, uh, so um, I, I I encourage people to get into blue team because it's a really exciting uh, uh, field. You should uh, you should experience if you're interested in the security. There are major there there are two major reasons for me to do that. The first very simple reason is that I want to share my journey um, on on the stuff I learned from the security. Uh, throughout this journey, everything I learned, I want to share with other people uh, and hope, hopefully can be helpful uh, for someone who wants to get into the industry. And uh, another reason I think uh, it, it's, uh, uh, I mentioned before that uh, communication skills is important. So by writing your own blog, uh, it can actually practice your um, writing skills and um, by making YouTube videos, you can actually uh, expand all these concepts um, and uh, can subsequently improve your communication skills. So when you're making a phone call to the client, you actually can effectively communicate with your, uh, communicate your funding with the client. So I think that's the two major reasons uh, I doing these things. Um, the first thing I think definitely um, communication skills is, is important. Um, if you want to be a SARC analyst, you, you got to learn how to effectively communicate with your colleagues, with the clients, and uh, 
um, because customer service is is what's what's all about uh, in a sock. Another thing, second thing is I think always um, be willing to ask questions if you have something you're not sure about. Uh, you're not sure about in, in your job, you should always ask him for help. Um, and uh, the, the last point, uh, last thing I learned in the hard way is definitely um, always willing to uh, receive the critics and the feedback from your peers and the colleagues um, because uh, that can really makes you to grow and it makes you to become a better um, security professional in general. So. Um, that is all for today and uh, thank you guys for watching this uh, interview series and I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, answers. Bye-bye.